All right, welcome everybody. Let me know if you can uh, hear me all right in the chat and we'll get started. <clears throat> Great. So if I'm not mistaken, last time we were looking, um, yeah, it was Friday. And I believe I proposed the scenario where one of the assets, right, would create a divergence uh, while the other doesn't. And that's exactly what happened here, I believe. I, I, I can't remember if we did this together. Um, maybe someone can remind me. But basically what we had here was gold, uh, sorry, silver coming up above that level, gold maintained, pushed down, came back up. And then we had a little mini divergence here as well. More visible probably on the lower time frame. And if we go to the live market, You'll notice that we had divergence heading. Let's go down to the lower time frame. All right, so right now price is rushing from that divergence we just looked at. And what I just noticed uh, when I got off the Square 9 webinar was that we actually diverged. Again, so silver had a short setup and now both are going down. But what's interesting is that we diverged once again. So technically gold uh, is along here, but we're also fighting, uh, you know, that one hour divergence coming from that top. But I would say if we can break a swing here, that might be pretty safe uh, to take up. So that's what I'll be looking here. If we can break that swing, close above, uh, that might head higher. Any questions? Uh, on gold and silver here. It's actually looking really nice. We'll circle back here in a moment. Let's go to the S&P. All right, let's go up to the one hour first. All right. So at the moment, what I see here was a high. And at that point, it was also a high with the S&P. And it looks like we diverged a few hours ago. So that bar that closed above at 12, that bar that closed above at 12 p.m. here, that would have been the entry signal. 
we could have taken um, this short and it'd be in a short right now. But like I say, we got to always watch that we're crossing lows together. And so this is ambiguous right now completely because we just diverged again. So this would be the most recent uh, for the S&P to head higher. Right, because we had the divergence on the Dow, price pushed lower, uh, but then diverged again right into the open here. We're about you know 20 minutes from the open, so we could see this continuing higher. Let's take a look at Euro dollar. And dollar Swiss. They are inverted, but we need to invert them because they are negatively correlated. Okay, so at the moment, this would be a very nice setup. That looks clean. That looks worth it. Coming into the open. Nice risk reward here. And then what we would look for is price to cross that high together, in which case for dollar Swiss, it would be that low. That's also a nice opportunity here. Any questions uh, on Euro dollar? Pretty straightforward. Let's do Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's take a look on a smaller time frame. Okay. Smaller time frame, also have divergence here. So that just made it even stronger. On the low itself. On the low that made divergence on the lower time frame, right? So we're diverging with this low. But then actually the low that broke and made the, the, the divergence uh, diverged with euro dollar here as well. We can see we're popping up. Yes, sir. All right, let's go Bitcoin. And Ethereum. Go to the one hour. Bitcoin in a nasty range here. So is Ethereum. Most recent. What we could see is price diverging. All right, both made a low here at 8 p.m. All right, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. We cross over our div our divergent zone, and we can see that Bitcoin held that low, and Ethereum has closed below the last few couple uh, last uh, few hours. And what we can expect now is Bitcoin to head higher.
take a look here on the lower time frame. Looks like the same thing with Euro, where we have divergence. That would be a nice opportunity as well. Any questions here on Ethereum and Bitcoin? Gold, Ooh, let's go back to gold. Gold looks interesting. So we popped above that swing that we were looking at. Where was all the markings? What's going on here? Weird. So again, uh, the divergence we were looking at was with this low. I don't know where all the markings went. I guess I used different brokers, but we'll do it quickly. We see that gold is making a divergence set up long over here about 10 minutes ago. We mentioned that we'd wait for cross of the swing and a close above, but we failed to close. Still looks good though. Let's see how Euro's doing. And not really moving anywhere either. All right, guys. So I think we went through all the markets that are relevant. Does anybody have uh, any questions, anything they want to share? Gold's looking the best at the moment, but because we failed, uh, we're failing to cross these swings also here on Euro and as well on gold. It's making me a little reluctant, but if we can manage to get back up there, that'd be good long. Awesome, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and head out and do some trading as well. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Be back here next week um, as usual. I'll send an email for the updated time. So have a great weekend, everybody. Take care.